always told we had to work hard, make the most of your talents. And I remember my, I think it was my mum telling me, do whatever makes you happy. So I pretty much stuck to that one. <laughs> and wound up here, just me and the sandflies. This is the collection. Uh, these were from one of my favorite parties. <laughs> we had this epic food fight. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of marshmallows got thrown. So I found some about two years later and they're quite dry. So I'm gonna turn them into something. So they're just there to remind me. These are my beard balls. So through the years they'll be getting grayer. So I wanna do something pretty interesting with them. Cause you wouldn't wanna throw that stuff out, would you? I think I've always managed to keep that sense of curiosity about life. I'm just curious about how things work, how materials work together. Perspective and scale is quite fun to play with. Momentum, physics, motion. I still find science magical. Get your head around electromagnetism and stuff. So you can kind of pretend you can move the feather without touching it <laughs> by using the force. <laughs> Electricery. <laughs> it's always interesting to see what works on the page that doesn't work in real life. <laughs> so I think it's pretty good for your brain to try and think three-dimensionally with movement though. Life is movement. I see a still painting that doesn't do anything and to me it's kind of dead. I just want to get that little thing moving in there that's going to draw your eye and give it some more life. Replicating nature's movements and things and trying to get that connection to people that'll make them look at something and just feel it. I love the way nature can sort of guide you. So nature's kind of got all that sorted. We need a better connection to nature or we're gonna lose it. Uh, sit for the sound of the kakapo. Crazy sound. Yeah, I think that one might be my favorite. And to be a tinkerer, you kind of have to have a little bit of understanding of many things, which is a little bit of plumbing, a bit of electricity, a little bit of carpentry, a little bit of lots of things, and try and join them in together to make something. Tinkering with intent, yeah. It's just a positive, friendly term that I like, tinkerer. A lot of the comments I get from people coming through the gallery are that I've managed to bring out the inner child in them. That's pretty good. That's a good feeling. You wonder what they do with that once they leave though. If they just go back to their life or they got a bit more spark. <laughs> Make some changes maybe. I don't know. Hey, that one worked. Coin slaughter. This is more fun than I remembered. <laughs> I'm no life coach, but Living simpler would be one way to achieve a lot of people's goals. Realizing what you need, which is not generally what you were taught at school what you need, you know, food and shelter and clothing and a reason to live, those sort of simple things. It's believing in yourself, not being judged by what you do as a job sometimes. Finding what makes you happy and pursuing that. I think meaning for me is just having a worthwhile, sort of fulfilling life, I guess. Yeah, I'm just waiting to be discovered, I think. <laughs> then I'll take myself way more seriously and you'll hate the work I do. It'll be so conceptual. <laughs> Something to look forward to, eh?
Thanks to all of you who helped make this film possible. All of our films are totally crowdfunded. So if you'd like to continue to support us on our journey, check out our Green Renaissance page on Patreon.